You're listening to the Smash Bros. Cast, episode 5. I'm your host, N64Josh. This episode's going to be all about the history of Smash 4. We got a tiny, tiny bit of news about the Smash Invitational. If you listen, if you listen to the Nintendo Power podcast... Bill Trennan gives us just a little bit of info, basically confirming that they're going to be playing Smash on the Switch and that they're inviting pros uh, from all over to uh, come and compete. So that's if you want to listen to it and see if you glean anything more from it, that's the Nintendo Power Podcast. It's early on in the episode. You can check it out. If you do listen to it, let me know what you think. Let me know what, what you heard, it, whether in the comments of this video or the comments on the show notes or in the Discord, whatever. I'd like to I'd like to hear what you guys think. Let's talk Smash 4. History of Smash 4. It's on the 3DS, the Wii U, developer, Bandai Namco, and Sora LTD. Release date for the 3DS version in Japan was September 13th, 2014. In the U.S., October 3rd, 2014, and in Europe, October 4th, 2014. The Wii U version came out about a month later in the U.S., November 21st, 2014. Europe, November 29th, 2014. And Japan was December 6th, 2014. So, the development of Smash on the 3DS and the Wii U during E3 2011... While Satoru Iwata was talking about the Wii U, he brought up that Smash, basically announced Smash for the Wii U and 3DS. But the development for the game didn't even start until a few months after that in October. At E3 2012, there was no mention of Smash, which confused and disappointed some fans because of it being announced a year earlier. Shortly after E3, though, during a Nintendo Direct, it, it was announced that Bandai Namco, along with Sora, Sakurai's company, um, would be developing the game. At E3 2013, Sakurai began posting photos of the game regularly on the Miiverse, which if you have a 3DS or a Wii U, you're probably familiar with the Miiverse. Um, and at first, they just seemed to be kind of random screenshots with not a lot of info, but eventually that changed and he, been, he began including more info with the, the pictures. December 5th, 2014 was the last post that he uh, added to the Miiverse, and there's a website that has them, I believe the Smash, the Smash Wiki has them all, uh, archived, and I will include a link in the show notes, n64josh.com slash sbc5, and you'll be able to uh, check those pictures out there. July 2nd, 2012, Sakurai posted a whiteboard drawing to Twitter showing off a number of characters that would all end up in the game. The picture's been removed from Twitter, but I do have a link to it in the show notes if you want to go check it out. In the picture, we see Zero Suit Samus, Wario, Sandbag, Pit, Pikmin, Pikachu, Mr. Saturn, Mr. Game & Watch, Meta Knight, Marth, Luigi, Link, Kirby, Fox, and Donkey Kong. It's, and it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty cool picture, so I do recommend going and, going and checking, checking it out. Smash 4 initially according to Sakurai, it was going to have a single-player story mode. But eventually it was dropped. It was dropped. So let's talk gameplay changes. What are some of the biggest changes to uh, Smash 4 versus uh, Melee, Brawl? And, and those are the only two I kind, of, I kind of compare at this point. One of the biggest changes was the speed of the game. Now, Melee is extremely fast-paced fast and frantic. Brawl, uh, it's, it's, it was much slower. Smash 4 was faster than Brawl, but still quite a bit slower than Melee. Melee is also an extremely combo-heavy game, and high-level high level players could easily punish, easily punish you if you left yourselves if you left yourself open to it. Uh, Smash 4 allows for combos, but not to the extent that Melee does. So it's you can still get out of combos easier in Smash 4 than you could in Melee, uh, but not quite as easy as you could in Brawl. Smash 4 really set to bridge the gap between the casual and hardcore. And, uh, but because of that, it does end up making the competitive matches not quite as interesting to watch as Melee. The much improved online 
did a better job catering to both style of players. The casuals could go in, play with friends, play just the regular smash modes, that kind of stuff. But if you wanted to play competitively, you could jump into four glory matches and go and go one on one with people and, and really just practice if, if you wanted that option. So it wasn't just playing with all the items on that kind of thing. You could actually play more like the, the tournament rules, which was which was great, a great addition. Lag was still an issue, especially the 3DS. Lag is even an issue when you're not playing online, when you're just wireless with another 3DS. I've had better luck playing the 3DS uh, in the same room by going wi like getting online and, and setting up a room that way than just even being um, just on the, the DS's wireless network. It just doesn't seem to work uh, quite as well. The lag, however, was still better than it was in Brawl. The lag and brawl was pretty significant. Uh, the Wii U, not quite as bad. We still run into some lags sometimes, but I do. I am hardwired, and look, if you um, if you have a Wii U and you have a Switch, you can you can get the same adapter to be able to plug an Ethernet cable in. Uh, it's just a USB to Ethernet cable adapter, LAN adapter, and you're able to, to hardwire your systems that way. I highly, highly recommend that. It, uh, it just, it really, it really helps just keep the lag down as, as much as it can. So let's talk competitive scene. Now, Melee, it, just high level competitive play, it's unmatched. You know, watching pros and the skill gap, it, you can really just set they were set apart they were they were they were they were pulling off things that your your average person was not going to do they, they practiced hours and hours and hours and you could tell it was very very apparent most melee players ended up sticking with melee because smash 4 still felt more like brawl to them and less like melee as far as the speed goes um, in spite in spite of that, though, Smash 4 has still made its way into the tournament scene. And look, Melee, yes, I I think it is one of the best games to watch. But I look at the high level of play and I go, I'm, I, there's no way I'm, I'm doing that. There's no way I'm pulling off the things they're pulling off. I watch Smash 4 tournaments and it doesn't seem like... It just seems more doable, and as I've played the game more and practiced and improved, like I'm, I'm really, I feel like I'm able to improve in shorter amounts of practice than if I was playing melee. Melee to me seems like one of those things that you have to invest hours and hours and hours again, or hours and hours and hours, and just to get, just to get better. I don't want that to sound like I'm saying anybody can just get good at Smash Four just by, you know nonchalantly playing here and there. I don't want to dis discredit the pros and things like that that have that have put the hours in. I, I've watched I've watched the the high level play of Smash 4 too. I'm not, I'm not even close nowhere close to that. Nowhere. The things these guys pull off and just the 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 mind game that goes into it like crazy. But watching it, I feel like I have a better chance of learning it than I did with Melee. So that's uh, that's that's where I'm at with that. Let's talk characters. The the character list was massive. There were uh, the same roster for both systems, the 3DS and the Wii U, and there was also DLC that came out. So the final list is Bayonetta, Bowser, Bowser Jr., Captain Falcon, Charizard, Cloud, Corrin, Dark Pit, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, Doctor Mario, Duck Hunt, Falco. Fox, Ganondorf, Greninja, Ike, Jigglypuff, King Dedede, Kirby, Link, Little Mac, Lucario, Lucas, Lucina, Luigi, Mario, Marth, Mega Man from Capcom, Meta Knight, Mewtwo, Me Fighters, Mr. Game & Watch, Ness, Olimar, Pac-Man, Palatina, Peach, Pikachu, Pit, Rob, Robin, Rosalina and Luma, Roy, Ryu, Samus, Sheik, Shulk, Sonic, Toon Link, Villager from Animal Crossing, Wario, Wii Fit Trainer, Yoshi, Zelda, Zero Suit Samus. 
Interesting thing, Mewtwo, the way you could unlock him is you had to register both your Wii U game and your 3DS game, and then you would unlock Mewtwo uh, in-game. In so let's talk the reception of Smash 4. The 3DS is sitting at an 85 out of 100 on Metacritic. The small screen and lack of single player kind of hurt the, the score. One of the things that was happening with uh, with 3DSs when this game came out is people were breaking the circle pad. They were pressing too hard. You would sometimes see the, the plastic would actually snap. You would see the rubber disc just kind of come off. And it, it, was, uh, it, was, it was pretty gnarly seeing seeing these things get get messed up i've never had any issues let me know if you guys have i want to hear from you guys in the comments have you uh did you end up breaking did you break your uh your circle pad from playing for just going too uh too hardcore on on smash on your 3ds it was the eighth best-selling game on the console with over nine million units sold so Smash 4 on 3DS was the 8th best-selling game on that system. The Wii U version did score a little higher on Metacritic. It ended up at a 92 out of 100, which is the second highest rated Smash game, second only to Brawl. Smash 4 on the Wii U was the 4th best-selling title, with almost 5.5 million units sold. So they did they did all right. Smash is a is a is a is a great great selling game for for Nintendo. So my history with Smash 4. I picked up both games at launch. The Wii U version did not get much playtime. Um, I was lucky enough to get the GameCube controller adapter at launch without a pre-order, but I never actually picked up the Smash GameCube controllers. I just have old GameCube controllers lying around still, so I use those. Um, my boys, who had you know, who had played a ton of Brawl with me, they were really into shooters, and we played a little bit of Smash, but it was one of those games that I was really into a shoot. I was playing Destiny at the time, so I was really into shooters, and we just didn't really, like, Smash just didn't get the, uh, the attention that Brawl did. And the younger one did have the game on his 3DS, so that we would play it periodically, but now fast forward to 2018, like last Saturday, we were, as of recording this anyway, we were, my son and I, my younger son and I were streaming on on Twitch, doing, just going head to head on the Wii U, having a really good time doing that. He is actually continued streaming Smash on his uh, 2DS XL. You can check out his stream at twitch.tv slash Gavin454. And... And so he's kind of gotten the bug again since I've uh, since I've gotten back into it, and it's really great for me because I love being able to play with somebody on the same screen. We don't have to worry about lag. I don't beat him very often. Like I've got it. Like it's it's really good practice for me just playing against him and trying to uh, trying to get better. So I'm 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 absolutely loving it. I think it's great. As far as practicing for this last week. This has been a fun week. I haven't necessarily focused. I mean, I talked about I talked about last week the things that I was focusing on, movement, defense, that kind of thing. And I feel like the thing that I've been working the most on is trying to land attacks with Mario's uh back air. That has been probably the thing that I have practiced most. Probably didn't focus as much on uh, movement or or dodging or spot dodging as I would have liked. There's been a lot of focus on just getting, um, being able to connect with his back air. I've just played a lot of Smash the last week. I Like I said, I streamed it last Saturday, played with viewers, had some people come in that just mopped the floor with me, uh, other people that I maybe I could beat. So we're, we're, we were having fun that way. I still had a, I'm, I've, I've still got a ton to learn. I still have a ton to learn, but I'm, I love watching. Uh, even the way I set it up, I could still watch, even if I wasn't fighting, I could watch the two that were going at it. And we had a few real high, um, like you, you could tell they know they knew what they were doing and, and just watching and being able to take it in was, was a great learning experience for me. 
Um, I was given some advice in the stream about Mario's combos and starting with that grab and then hitting down and and then keeping that combo going, especially on lower, uh, like when the match had started or if they had just come in after um, after losing a stock, that lower percentage, you can really really get the get the combos going that I'm seeing taking them up into the 40 percent if I can uh, if I can get them to land well enough I've still got a lot to learn there but I feel like I'm getting the first steps in the process of combos down so that's that's very helpful one thing that uh, that I would recommend uh, everybody do is get a sparring partner find somebody that you can play with if you if you don't have a lot of people to play with make sure to jump into the discord and find somebody i reached out to uh nightcrawler he's one of the mods on my on my channel and in the discord and said hey you want to you want to you want to practice some smash and he was like sure and it ended up what i thought was going to be like a 15 20 minute session ended up turning into like an hour and a half session and uh, uh but i was i was we were just having so much fun and i would ask him for specific feedback like we would be in voice chat on discord and i would i would ask him like hey do do i look too predictable um is there anything that you could see that maybe i could do better you know, and and sometimes taking feedback like that can, it can be hard, but it's it's really worth it if uh, if if you have somebody that can that can kind of spot what you're doing wrong, especially since he's the one I'd been fighting with so much, and so he could see where he was able to take um, take oppor like take opportunities to land some extra hits or maybe get a combo to go off, and so that feedback's really really. Uh, really helpful so another way to really help yourself improve and one of the nice things about smash is that you can uh, record your replays so if you don't have a capture card or something like that if you do have that then just do that just record yourself playing or if you stream it go back on twitch and watch some of the past broadcasts and just watch the way you play look at the things that you're doing what are things that you can see are okay i shouldn't have done that right there smash is all about that like fast paced like just the the chess match is going really really quick but if you go back and watch yourself you can start maybe picking up situations that you got in maybe i should have done this here instead of that there i know there's a lot of times that i hit my uh, up b with mario and I'm facing the wrong direction and I end up missing completely. And so that is one of those things that like, I, I will see that and I will go, I need to improve on that thing. Do I need to wait a second longer? Do I need to make sure that I'm facing the right way? Like what, what can I do to improve on this so that I'm not missing as often as I do? So watch the recordings of yourself, s critique yourself, see how you can improve. Lastly, just have fun keep having fun with this it is it is it is a ton of fun and i'm really really enjoying um learning this game getting better at this game and i have seen some some really good improvement really good improvement and so i, I want to see you do the same i want to see you do the same so if you've been practicing if you've been improving, let me know let me know in the comments whether you're watching this on youtube or you, you jump into the show notes on my website i want to hear your stories. I want to hear how you're doing in For Glory, and get a get a sparring partner. Get a sparring partner. So, guys, that is going to do it for this episode, of the Smash Bros. Cast. This is kind of the last one in just the 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 history of the shows. Next week, we are going to do a a character breakdown, maybe two, and and I'm just gonna keep giving you guys tips and things like that as I'm learning. So they may end up being short episodes. Stick with me though, as we start getting more news about smash on the switch, like this thing's going to be firing at all cylinders and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I have been talking to a few people about getting some interviews lined up. I had some people reach out to me that uh, recommended some people that I reach out to. And so we're going to have some interviews, things like that. I'm really looking forward to it. So let's, uh, let's put a bow on this thing. As far as um, the music that you guys can hear right now, the Metal Melee theme 
uh, is from an artist on YouTube. If you want to watch the video, which he's just rocking out on the guitar, you can go to n64josh.com slash metal melee. His name's Rich. His YouTube channel is Rich A A D uh, E D. So I'm not exactly sure how to say the name, but um, maybe it's Rich. I I'm not sure. I don't know. So if you just go to n64josh.com slash metal melee, take you right to the video. Uh, a couple sponsors, audibletrial.com slash SBC. You can get yourself a free book from Audible. I recommend stuff like Ready Player One or uh, uh, Super Mario, how Nintendo conquered America. Um, I do all of my gaming streaming in a chair from a company called OP Seat. You can go to opseat.com. And there you can check out the, the Master Series, the Grand Master Series, and you can save yourself $10 at checkout by using coupon code N64JOSH. You're going to find the show notes for this episode, like I mentioned earlier, n64josh.com slash SBC5. Make sure to join the Discord community. Come hang out with us. It's a really, really good time there. Find other people to play Smash with. If you're playing other games on your Switch, like Mario Kart or Splatoon, we have a very, very active community. A lot of people there. A lot of good people. You can find somebody to play Smash with. I guarantee it. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it's at N64Josh. If you want to be able to see all my content, go to N64Josh.com. If you want to hang out in a stream, which I think late Friday nights are going to be the Smash stream, it's twitch.tv slash N64Josh. You can also... Follow on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, Snapchat, and Vero. It's all N64Josh. Thank you guys so much for listening. We'll see you in the next episode.